flying steak, potatoes, cheese, covered in some warm gravy. Perfect combination for an awesome feast. Movie star chef, flying steak, putsin. What is up guys, welcome to the video. Today we are making the movie star chef flying steak putsin with a little twist. Now the traditional recipe in the movie star chef recipe cookbook, we're using roasted potatoes and we're cutting them into fry like shapes, baking them in the oven. But now I kind of changed the way I make my puts, my potatoes for the putsin. So I like using the, the yellow mini uh, potatoes and I'll show you exactly how I prepare them. We're also gonna be using 90 grams of low-fat mozzarella cheese. Now, the traditional putsin uses the cheese curds, but the low-fat mozzarella cheese has much better macros. You get, you get to have more cheese in your putsin for less calories. We're also gonna be using 180 grams of flank steak. Now, I like using flank steak, but you could use chicken, you could use um, extra lean ground beef, you can use whatever protein source you like. You could even make this recipe without using any extra protein just by using the cheese and the potatoes. Okay, now for the seasonings, we're just gonna be using some onion, sorry, some garlic powder and some Himalayan sea salt. Now you could also use whatever seasonings you like, like onion powder or even fresh chopped onions. Uh, we're gonna be using some extra virgin olive oil and to make our life simple, we're gonna be using store-bought gravy. Now, if you wanna get creative and experimental, I'll have the full recipe in the description to make your homemade gravy. It's like three ingredients, it's very easy, but we're just gonna keep things simple for today's video. Okay, so we're gonna start with the potatoes because they take the longest to cook, so it just makes sense starting with the potatoes. So we're gonna be boiling the potatoes for about eight to 10 minutes, and then we're gonna be roasting them in the oven to get them nice and crispy. So preheat the oven at 450 degrees and turn on the burner on medium to high heat to start boiling the water. Once the water starts to boil, we add in the potatoes with a bit of salt. Okay, so here we see that the water is starting to boil. We're gonna add in the potatoes with a bit of salt. and the salt actually helps the potatoes cook a bit faster. So we're gonna set the timer for eight to 10 minutes and then we'll do a little test. So while the potatoes are boiling, we can start cooking the steak. Now for the steak, you wanna make sure that you remove it from the fridge about 20 to 30 minutes before you season it. Okay, so it's been sitting here for about 30 to 40 minutes and we're just gonna season it both sides with some salt. Okay, and we're gonna preheat the pan to make sure that it's nice and warm, okay? Okay, so once, once the steak is nicely seasoned, we're gonna cut it into bite-sized pieces. Add in one teaspoon of olive oil. I'm gonna let that cook. Okay, so the steak is almost ready. There's about two minutes left for the potatoes. We have the gravy warming up. Let's take a look. Okay, that looks good. You, wanna, you don't wanna overcook the steak. I like it nice, medium rare. I think on the inside, just like that. Let's see? Okay, so I'm gonna put this on the side. We'll let it rest for about 10 minutes or until the potatoes and everything is ready to eat, okay? Okay, it's a little fun fact. 
We actually have a, a restaurant here in Montreal, Quebec, Canada that makes poutines, that only makes poutines and it's open 24 seven and they make all types of different style poutines and which is always packed. Lineups are out the door, around the corner some nights, especially after the late night, uh, late night hours at the clubs, people tend to get hungry. So I highly recommend you trying this recipe, especially if you're trying to diet to lower body fat levels uh, and you still wanna eat foods like poutines or, or pizzas. You just have to be a bit smarter on which ingredients you use. Use lower fat cheese, use, uh, instead of making the homemade gravy with the, with the extra butters, buy the store-bought. It's, it's lower in fat, lower in calories, and it makes it much more easy. Um, you can use uh, leaner meat, you can use chicken. Um, today we're using flank steak, which is very lean as well. But you just have to play around with the macros, play around with the ingredients, and you can still eat delicious foods and still get to your goal physique. Okay, so I actually added another five minutes to the timer because the potatoes weren't ready yet. So let's see. Okay, so the fork goes in completely so they're nice and soft on the inside so we can now take them out of the water and move on to the next step let's put them in a plate reduce the heat of the gravy and here I have 400 grams of yellow potatoes that's what I'm eating today Now what I like doing is taking a fork and I like to smash the potatoes. Um, not too much, but just enough to get a nice uh, texture on the outside, just to make it a bit more crispy when it's roasting in the oven. Okay, so there they are, oh, they're all nicely mashed. Now the last step is to season them with uh, a bit of salt, uh, a bit of garlic powder, and then we're gonna pour on a teaspoon of olive oil. Okay, and then we're gonna put them in the oven, okay? Okay now, so for the olive oil, um, what I like to do is I like to pour the olive oil in a little teaspoon and then I take a brush and I dip the brush in the oil and then I brush it on each of the potatoes. This way I know I'm only getting the oil that I counted for in my fitness pal. Okay, so... We're gonna put the potatoes on the tray. You want to make sure that they're they're separated, that they're not touching, that they're not too close, because then they're not gonna they're not gonna crisp up as much. Okay, so there there they are. Now I'm gonna put them in the oven for about 30 minutes total. But after 15 minutes, you're gonna to want to either rotate them or just move them around a bit so they're evenly crispy from the top to the bottom to the sides all around you know how it is all right in the oven let's go Okay, so here you have it. The Movie Star Chef Flank Steak Poutine modified version. Try it out, trust me, you're gonna, you're gonna absolutely love it. I love making it this way. It's so much more crispy and it's more original. 
Now I'm gonna get a fork and do a little taste test and we'll see. Okay, so I got my fork. It's a little bit hot. Well, when you get the combination of the cheese with the steak and the gravy and the potato, obviously. Oh my God. Definitely give this one a try. You guys are absolutely going to love it. Oh my God. Oh yeah, okay. So for the calories and macros, for this whole recipe, you're looking at 995, let's say 1,000 calories, 71 carbs, 50 fat, and 69 protein, along with eight grams of fiber. So this will be great for your big feast. Now normally my feast is anywhere from 1,000 to 1,200 calories. So this is perfect. Uh, you could have this to break your fast like I'm doing today, or you could have it as your late night meal. Now I'm probably gonna have a smaller meal later on tonight and maybe a snack in between, we'll see. So I hope you enjoy the video, try it out, tag me on Instagram, let me see your variation of this recipe. And don't forget to pick up your copy of the Movie Star Chef Recipe Cookbook. The link will be down in the description. Okay guys, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.